all of the gravestones. Son of Lisa and Jim Johnson, 1976 to 1999. Yes, yeah, the 90s. They never did find Larry's body. Son of Henry and Diane Fisher, 1976 to 2004. I wish you were here, Sal. So, he'd be 47 if he was alive right now. Mm -hmm. Probably one of my favorite things. What, did Sorry. I ask? Uh-huh. Sorry I haven't visited I I in a few nights. Dead. Things have gotten worse. It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. I hope he's okay. He's gotta be under that darn church. It's the, only, it's the one place we haven't been able to get to. They're down there. I know they are. And they have my Todd. Did you get the rest of that C4 from your army friend? I got it last <laughs> night. Have you found a way in? I think so, yeah. We should go Tuesday night. That's when they're least active. Remember our agreement? If we get, ta if we get caught down there, we won't. We're going to get Todd and then blow that place to bits. Neil, I'm serious. So am I. But if we do, but if we do get caught, then we take them down with us. I'm ready. Good. At least one of us is. Uh, okay, so the main character is Ashley now. Have you okay. fed Maple Nat? Maple yet? I tried. She's not eating. I'll see if I have any luck. Do you need a hand? Nah, I've got it. Maple yep. the chick, mm -hmm. who is Chug's wife. I think it's something. I think it's something big. A missing piece. I've been wondering about. I hope you're right. We're about we're about to do this for some good luck. Be right back. But yeah. So in... Wait, isn't there another taper missing? Uh yes. I guess there is. Okay, so actually we can three years later, courthouse okay. Continued Oh. Hold on. Oh wait, I think I missed it. Frick. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We're 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 pulling what's called a pro gamer move. Hopefully, it didn't save. And well, remember oh, just starting what episode I five can again? do. Yeah. Start a new game of episode five. Yes. We're pulling. We're pulling what's called a pro gamer move. Okay, there we go. So we walk left as far as we can. Yep, there it is. Keep this in mind. Five. Okay, wait, actually, hold on, let me do this. Um, after Sal's execution in the last episode, you're now playing as Ash. Walk left as far as you can on the very left edge. Make sure you see it. It's gray with five buttons. There are six hexagons to find in there, this episode, and they're important to a scene later on in the game. So this is this th this is the part that I like I wanted to show everyone. So okay, so I'm not I'm there's no point in me reading like all of these. So I think with the uh, scene later on in the game, um, so what we can do is we can so we can skip all of this. Okay, so we already know, uh, you're talking to Neil, Todd's boyfriend. It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution after being infected by the Dark Cult. You hope he's okay, you think the cult are holding him somewhere, and you're, and you're determined to rescue him. Read the notes on the table to see... Okay, so I need to read the notes on the table. Okay, so... Yeah, so I'm not reading all this. I'm gonna let this sit here for a second. So that they can read it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... We're... We're good. So now, we go downstairs, walk right a few steps, and enter the spare room, which used to be Sal's room. Or no, the next one is Sal's room. Look at the photo of Larry at the on the top of the cardboard boxes. Leave the this room. This is Grandmama. 
I remember taking this photo. It was after Larry's dad left. Larry and his mom stayed with his grandmother for a few years. They lived down the road from me. That's when we became good friends. So, so Ash has been friends with Larry oh, for... Yeah. Sorry, I so... just had to... Yeah, so demo is just a theory. A game theory. So uh, we keep pausing like the recordings and whatnot because uh, demo makes really good points. So. Hey Gizmo. Hi Gizmo. How is that cat alerting me? <laughs> I don't know. He, has, he hasn't left your room since the execution. It's like he knows. I just realized Sal has a bunch of other masks. Mhm. Mm <laughs> so walk right a few steps and enter the bathroom. Walk left. Uh, there should no. Yeah. Okay. So Hi. that one. Enter the basement. Talk to Maple and enter the cage. Seems like she also goes out of the dark. Why is she under the stairs? Uh, hey Maple, how are you today? Oh, she's feral. Yeah. Neil and I are gonna get Todd back soon. We may have to stick him in with you. At least we get to, until at least we can at least until we find a better situation. That would be a horrible idea. If they're yeah. feral, they're I gonna fight. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I've got to run to the shed real quick. When I get back, we'll get it. We'll get you some nice warm soup. Okay. Again, while I read this, I'm gonna let this sit for a second. Okay, I'm letting it go now. So basically that's just her deterioration. Yeah, pretty much. So look at the shed on the right. So if you remember the code, it is 4 0 I got it. 3 5 3 6 4 What's with the three? Four, Memorize. Two, remember the correct shed. Remember the correct shed code in episode five. Okay. What's with Todd's the three, four, notes. two, six, seven, nine? Um, was that just that was for the, the thing earlier? Yeah, that was for the thing earlier. In the shed, oh, read Todd's notes of the final prophecy of Satali Gray, which are the computer. Walk a r walk right in a few steps and take the package. Grab the package. Yes. So then now we technically teleport to the uh, graveyard. You return to the graveyard to keep Sal updated. The parcel contains some weird pyramids that, mis that the mysterious cultist informant informer had sent you. Are these pyramids linked to Sal somehow? I didn't get to read that. In his notes, he says he, says he found it in the temple under the old apartments. They seem to be pretty important. There are several mentions of a prophecy, of a prophecy in Todd's notes about them. He was actively looking for the other two. Okay, wait. I think they might be linked to you somehow. No matter how t how I turn these, nothing happens. I thought something would happen this time. Sal, there's something I need to tell you. The replacements were sloppy at first, but they're getting better now. It's harder to tell the difference. I can't trust anyone. Larry. Oh, sorry. Those things creep me out, dude. They aren't human. I know what you mean. So you think that pyramid thing that Todd found could help us find Sal? It seems like it. I've pieced together what I could find about the old cult prophecies. And from what I can tell, there are three pyramids that will summon well, that will summon their destruction. All signs point to Sal as one of, as one who can stop them. I'm not sure how or why, but it's the best chance we have. I always knew Sally Face would do great things. Don't give up on a mash. You have to find him. I won't. Ever. I just need to find the other two pyramids. Once I'm free from this freaking treehouse, I'll help you find him. Larry. I don't know if this is a good idea. What if burning down a treehouse may only makes things worse? Trust me, it can't get any worse. I can't live like this anymore. Or, you know, not live, but whatever. I can't stay stuck in this place. You don't know what it's like. It's torture. I can feel it changing me. Nothing else has worked to break the binding spell. 
What about Granny? What if you end up in the black room instead of being free? Your soul will just evolve into the darkness. We don't know that for sure. And even so, the nothingness would be better than existing than this. Please, Ash, you have to help me. If I do this, you have to promise you'll be okay. Promise me you won't fade away. Not to die. I promise. Arson! Hell yeah! Okay, so we're back at the cemetery. Okay, hold on. This is episode 5, right? Yeah, this is episode 5. I went back to the burnt tree every night for weeks. He's just... gone. I can't bring myself to go anymore. Another screw-up in a long list of failures. This morning, I went over to Neil's place, but... Because um, I Hello? imagined they... Neil? Good. You home? I grabbed the C4 from Neil's bag since we were supposed to go to the temple that night. Yeah, look at all the C4! Yourself. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, C4! With that C looking posture. Yeah. Okay, so actually, I want to. S okay, Shirley McNeil can't find him. Walk right in, enter the basement. Oh no. Okay. Sal's old room. Mabel's escaped, haven't she? Yep. The black stuff. Oh, wait, click on the. Going upstairs. Oh, she off Neil, didn't she? Crap, that sounded <laughs> good. That sounded like the front door. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there I is hate a. Me. There was a note left on the table for me. Ash, they have Maple and Neil. You need to move quickly. The devil is lightly guarded today. Sneak into the entrance I told you of before. Once you get in the main chamber, you'll have to act stealthily. There are four pillars with insets that hold sacred jars. If you place the explosives there, it's sure to bring the whole place down. Stick them behind the jars and they'll be safe. It's forbidden to touch these jars. Be careful and good luck. On the back of the letter, there was a hand-drawn map of the location of the jars. I don't want to waste any time. I want to go to right away. Phelps Ministry. By the way, does the name Phelps sound familiar to you? Michael Phelps? No. Uh, Travis Phelps. Oh, yeah. Who was that? The bully. <sighs> okay, without the factory, we will. Without the factory, we will, we will lose more members. Ever since the fire, his orders have been increasingly erratic. How many senators? Shh, shh! Don't talk like that. You don't want to end up like the Packertons. All right, sorry. Do you want to end up like the Packertons? Everything will work out. Just have faith, sister. Oh, that's a girl. It's a whim and <laughs> the dissension will soon be upon us. There's a thing on the floor. Awkward. I know. So that is three hexagons. Tres. Okay, so actually we can't. Oh. Do you just die if you get caught? Or what? Uh, yes. Okay, so wait for him to leave. Walk in past the door. Because these people are the dumb. Perfect timing. Very simple cell section, section but I like it. Yes, I know, I just made a circle. 
I was like, why did you pass the thing? And then I, you said that. I was like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Okay, he's gonna go there. Move, cheese. Trigger game glitched. I think, I think so. I'm just gonna stay right here. No, I need the inner east hall. Hopefully he moved. What happens Maybe. if I just... Okay. <laughs> that actually startled me. You. I don't know. <laughs> I would... That was a cool, uh... I... Oh, I think I have to restart. That's fine. Um, I... that was a... That was a cool, uh, image, though. You gotta admit that. Yeah. Little dooter. Just kinda caught you. Yeah. Okay, so... You might so... want to look up the little thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, it, was it in here? <gasps> that was <laughs> fucking close. Almost died. That was that was close. Okay, center chamber, too risky. Oh, right, okay, so... Right, I, I remember now. So, I need to go back here. Or not. I need to go back here. Okay, go back to the East Hall. Place the C4. Okay, he moved. Just in case this bugs out. We're gonna activate that again. So that's 3 out of 13. There's 13? Mm-hmm. But with a guide, I know where all of them are. I thought you said there were six. No, there are 13 hexagons. I think he's just supposed to be there. I think so. Does the guide say anything about the dude just kind of standing there? Uh, let me check real quick. So I need to continue walking left. There, yeah, there's one right here. I'm going to get like right there. Okay, so I need to enter the south hall, which should be right here. Now, are you? Yeah, you're gonna go backwards. No, this is the west hall. Oh, okay, so how many C4s? Okay, I have two more, so I need put one head. Left. Oops, I better move from the spot quickly. Okay, so then I enter head left, continue left until you. Hold on. Head left and continue left until you see the C4 pillar. Place some C4 explosives inside the pillar. Walk right a few steps and enter the inner west hall. Yo, he's doing like Wait, some... what? Soccer tricks. I think... I, I think he saw Ash. Okay, wait. So, enter the west hall... Head left. Hold on. Hold on. So, what, do I enter the west hall? I think my game. I think. I think the game bugged out. Because he's Dang, supposed to move. Die. Just die. It's gonna be faster. So, east hall. So, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so first, South Hall. Okay, eavesdrop on the cult is talking. Walk right a few steps until you see a red flag. We enter the East Hall. There's an unmarked hexagon. We grab that. Well, not actually grab it, but walk to the right. Place Just gotta touch it. Walk to the right, C4 pillar. Okay, so. Yep, he's gone. 
Oh, wrong one. So he does that. So enter, walk left to the end, and enter the west hall. Enter They're east. Counting. You know, okay. if your friends are South about to hall. die, I'd say walking at a brisk pace is too slow. Yeah. Okay, so then walk left to the end and enter the west hall. Head left and continue left until you see the C4 pillar. Place some C4 explosives in inside this. Okay, walk right a few steps and enter the inner and enter the inner west hall. Okay. There's gonna be a guy. Oh, or not. Okay, enter. Now you gotta go to the north. Enter the inner hall. west hall. Walk all the way right until you see the C4 pillar. You accidentally knock one of the jars over, making a loud crash. Quickly walk all the way to the left. Okay, if you linger for too long, the cultist will remain in the doorway guarding it and you'll be trapped. Quickly walk all the way to the left and enter the north hall. If you Pause. linger for too long the cultist will remain at the doorway guarding it okay way to the left so i do this knock that over and quickly walk all the way left and enter and enter the north hall quickly head left past the wooden door and enter the inner east hall which is what this guy is guarding Enter the inner what? Inner east hall. Walk left and you see the soy floor. Okay, there's a guy walking right there. There isn't. I'm gonna wait just in case. Okay. I guess. I guess it's not. So then place the C4. That's all of them now. Too risky. Walk left a few steps and enter the dungeon. That's right. What? You walked right. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sesame I'm, Street left. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm all, but I'm I'm like half paying attention, so. Okay, okay, there we go. Ash. Dude, bro. Head left to Neil's, but just as you're planning escape. Okay. Neil, are you okay? I've had better days. How the heck did you get in here? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to, we got to get you out of here. What about Maple and Todd? Have you seen them? Maple is in the next cell over, and Todd is here. I saw him when they when they dragged us here. They have Todd in a different room. I'm not sure where though. They knocked me on the head pretty pretty hard. Ash, I think something big is going down real soon. Something bad. Okay, did you see where they put the keys? I'll get you out of here. We can grab Maple and Todd. One of the guards has the keys, but it's too dangerous. Even if even if you could get it somehow, you and I aren't going to be able to handle Maple and Todd. They're too far gone. We can do it. I know we can. I think it's time for plan B. Neil, no. Save yourself, Ash. Someone has to live through this. I'm not leaving you guys down here. I can't lose any more friends. I don't think we have any other option. You there! Stop! You violated the law. Stop! Crap. Wait, I know that voice. Who are you? It's Travis! Travis! You need to leave. If they catch you here, it won't end well. So is he in on it, or is you he... You look horrible, dude. What happened to you? Don't act like you give a crap about me. Just get out of here. Come on, man. You can help us get Maple and Todd. Let's all get out of here together. Trust me when I say it's beyond impossible. I know there's some good in you, Travis. Sal, Sal, Sal saw it, too. He stood up for you when no one else would. You know he did. Do this for him. Sal's dead, and you will be too if you stay any longer. Damn it, why won't you help us? I'm trying to. He's right, Ash. You should go. But it's okay. I've made my peace with it. I'll finally be with my Todd again. Travis pretty much had to drag me out of there. I didn't want to go, even though I knew they were right. Travis for the win. And I know we planned to blow the temple up, even if we failed. I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to press that button. 
knowing that our friends are down there. If you're out there somewhere, please, Sal. I need your help. Please. You can't be gone. Episode 5, Memories and Dreams. Hey, that's the theme of the... Mm -hmm. mini. What's up, dude? Oh, it, it's happening again! The flashes! What am I? You are unbound. You are broken. You must balance yourself. Fight the chaos within. Don't let your nightmares inflict your reality, Sal. Find your center. Don't listen to them, Sal. You must give in to your dreams. Give in to the chaos to reach your full potential. It's too dangerous. He's not ready. Follow your heart, child. No, listen to your mind. Um... Who are you? We are everything. And nothing. <sighs> Never mind. So, so you guys might actually uh, notice that Sal's icon is a mix of his college icon, his prison jumpsuit, and one, the one with ponytails. It's flashing very fast, but you can actually see uh, his ponytails. Pigtails. Pigtails. Same. Nah, no, not the same. You can actually you, you can actually see his pigtails. Okay, so um, climb up the stairs. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm gonna give that one to you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you remembered where I was. Do I know you? We've spoken many times, Sal. All right, are you going to be as cryptic, cryptic as the voices? Hold on, Jim? I was once, well, part of me Yo! was. I've made many Yo! sacrifices to get here, and I've lost so much along the way. I guess that's a yes on the cryptic level. I'm so sorry about your family. Evelyn, Larry, Lisa. Yes, I used to be as well. There was a time when I thought I could save them by changing their future. It was all I wanted. Called it! Lisa and Larry were the light of my life. I had never known such a deep love. I do not hold you responsible for the deaths. I understand what had to be done. You lost a lot that day, too. But it is the nature of life. All, thing, all living things must come to an end. I remember what it was like to live, to feel. I do not miss the constant cloud of emotions. It was all for nothing, though. The shadows still live and the devourers are, call, are, are going to call forth the plague. Their reach has grown, has grown too far. I stopped for nothing. I died for nothing. I killed for nothing. You can still stop them if you wish. In fact, you are the key to their destruction. That means anything to you now. Is this that prophecy nonsense again? I don't think I'm much of a chosen hero. I couldn't save anyone. There are no chosen heroes. Only those who choose to do heroic acts. Win or lose, light or dark, good or evil. These things don't hold much significance to me anymore, but I would still like to help you if you, if you so choose. How can I do anything like this? Upon dying, your soul was shattered. This occurrence has awakened a, a unique ability within you. You will be able to drift in between, drift into parallel worlds, though it will take some time. It will take some practice. How do I get back to my world? It will be difficult, but I have prepared for your arrival. I built a device to help you. Your friend Ashley has gathered a device above your grave in your world. This is good. However, there are components, and they must be aligned across the three realities they have been hidden in. The three pyramids of Asmith Asinthma have are each sealed within three puzzles. You must gather them all. If you hid these pyramids <laughs> of Asinma or whatever, can't you just grab them for me? 
That is not possible. I can no longer intervene in such matters. I have also erased the solutions from my memory in case anyone tried to steal them. However, I can guide you to their locations. Okay, well that gives me some time at least. Where do I start? There, there used to be a door here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> he just finds the door. Yeah. You'll find your way through there and keep your wits about you. Okay, so now we Jimmy. need to go here. Um, Going three. Yeah. No, we go through two. So, in door two, walk right a few steps into the light. Watch the cutscene with younger you and your dad. This is shortly after your accident. Casually leaving one. I'm afraid moving still isn't an option for us. The house has been on, market, uh, on the market since, well, four years now. It's an important step that I hope you'll be able to take soon. In the meantime, I believe that the cat will be of great comfort to Sal. He's shown a lot of improvement over the past month after he was assigned the kitten. Are you sure he's ready to come home? He is more than ready, Henry. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, it'll be good to have my son back. Well, this isn't what I was expecting. Okay, well, you you can do Jim's voice now, if you want. Oh, okay. You've awakened... Wait, what did... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've awakened a new soul connection. You may find it a bit strange at first. Actually, it feels pretty natural. Like, I've been here the whole time, like, walking from a dream. Hey, take it. <laughs> <sighs> In the beginning, I found the odd sense of familiarity to be unsettling, but I am not like you. You'll find the first pyramid somewhere in this house. Okay, on it. <laughs> okay, so read the letter. Looks like a letter from Ashley. Sal, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before. I really wanted to. I tried so hard to be there for everyone, and now it's all falling apart. I hope it's not too late to fix things. I hope I can somehow make up for my mistakes. I need you to know that it just ends there. Something must have interrupted her. Okay, so the microwave says 144 in the spare room. 145. Yeah, what did I say? 144. Oh. Um, in the spare room. <laughs> Start by sending the one on the left. Then turn the one in the middle. Then turn the one on the right. Hold on, start. Start by the one on the left. Turn... Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Hey. Okay, enter Sally's room. Your room, turn on the stereo. Okay. Okay, so it's four Two. out of thirteen. Do we got to pay attention, attention to the numbers or? No. Okay. In the living room. Look at Sal the really, photo. Or Sal really is just tiny. Uh huh. No. Um, He's that perfect okay, level on for the Ashley. TV and see the code. See the code. Five zero two three. Walk right and enter the bathroom. That's the basement. And the bathroom. So yeah. Do that. In the bathroom, turn on the shower. 7842. Wait, what? I think I meant the sink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was it? Do you say 7842? Yeah, 7842 and 5023. Yeah, I have I have it right here, so. Okay. Uh, walk left a few steps and try to enter Todd rooms. It needs a number code. Notice that there are three plus signs above the door. That's a clue. You need to be a bit clever here. You found three codes around, so add them together. So... Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm mathing. Okay, so it was one... Mind. So 145 plus 5023 plus 7842. 
Oh, so I gotta add them, okay. Yeah. So, plus 5, 23, plus 7, 8, 4, 2. Uh, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0. Okay. I was, I was looking right at it, but you wanted to do it, so I'm like, alright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will find the you first just, you just pyramid. You just wanted to me, like... Yeah. Okay, you're playing okay, as Ash again. Okay. Yeah. Sal? Sal, he did. I feel like that'd be something he'd do. <laughs> Sal, dude. Sal? Is that you? It's me. You sound faint. Why is your ghost like this? How is this possible? There are so many things I want to tell you. The pyramids. Oh. One of them is glowing now. This is closer to what Todd had in his notes. Let me take a look. Okay. Okay, wait, so... You're probably looking at this, but I want to see if I can figure it out before you... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking right at it. Go. Frick. <laughs> Just do it. got skin though mm -hmm. or at least muscle you did it ash oh back here again oh on <laughs> the next one frick okay listen to okay enter the okay, black room talk to jimothy again no i need to enter the black room technology is a perversion of nature the folly of the human kind their lust for betterment will be their undoing. Okay, so now I need to go into the white room. Technology is a creation of humankind. Humankind is a creation of nature. Thus, technology is the evolution of nature. Okay, so then I walk... Oh, wait, no. Walk right a few steps. And enter... Do you like the voices I gave to basically God and Satan? Yes. Okay, so... Upstairs, we need to talk to Jim. Jimothy? Jimothy. So, what happened to you? As you know, I was once human. After accidentally discovering a new world, I also discovered love. I died trying to protect that love. My human form was forfeited and my soul wandered the void for eons, in the endless black. Yeah, it's okay. I strive to return home. When I realized it was impossible for me, I found a way to reach into other worlds. A bridge. <gasps> it was him! In order to use such technologies, my soul needed to change. Pause it. And as I continued to use the bridge, my soul continued to change and evolve. Now, I am far from you. We could tell, big brain. What is all this junk? There are many of the invention I, that I have tinkered with. As an engineer in a past life, it seems a, desi it seems a desire to create is still within me. Engineer's design, though, great. A lingering remnant of my lost humanity. Be right back. Okay, so Jimothy. now... Oh, wait, no. We enter this, right? Is it room one? Go through, okay, yeah, go through the door in the hallway, walk right a few steps, and enter door three. Walk yeah. right and into the light. Watch the cuts. Okay, so we do this. Dad, when will Mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she'll recognize me when my with my new face? Gosh darn it, Sal! Can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mom isn't coming home. 
What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. So Beelzebub? He had a dog face, didn't he? Yeah. That's enough, Sal. I chose the pink one because that's mom's favorite color. I hope she will recognize it with recognize me with it on. <laughs> okay, so this is gross. Yeah, I know. This is I love the Hold on. Go ahead, read. Oh, the council went through went to great lengths covering it up. They had hidden it with the concealing spell as they called it. Of course, they would what they consider magic is merely science they don't understand. That makes sense. Though I have to be honest, it's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here, yeah? I'm going to go with you. <laughs> okay, so now we need to walk left. I can handle That's it, but it's still hard. 2 in the morning and I'm a little... I'm a little... Oh yeah, trust me. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, we're, uh, we're recording this at like fucking 2 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Sleep deprived. Yeah. I'm, I, I can already tell you I'm gonna wake up at like fucking 1 p.m. <laughs> I gotta wake up at 10, so I'll be fine. Yeah, okay, here it is. Who is texting me? I don't know. Okay, it's um... 2 a.m. <laughs> how many, how many hexagons is that? Mmm, five? I think okay. so. Head for the center of the woods until you see three tiles At on least the ground. Three. Yeah. I think I saw it. What? Wait, I... Oh, the tile was that. Okay. Okay, walk left. <laughs> Wait. Uh, walk left. Just single tile. Look at it. It contains some sun and moons. Pattern has to match the tile you saw in the center of the woods. So click on the icon. Sun, sun, moon, sun, moon, moon. Wait, one of the... What? Wait, what? Walk left a few steps to a single. Look at it. Sun, moons. The pattern has to match the tile you saw in the center of the woods? One of the tiles in the center of the woods will rise up. Head to the lower right corner of the woods. Here, head towards the... that stump, like, far away from you. Well, like this one? Yeah. I think I saw some. Yep. Okay, walk left as far as you can. You'll find another hidden hexagons. One, um... Head for the center of the woods until you see three tiles on the ground. Look at the tiles. Notice the patterns of light and dark. In the left tile, in the right tile. Now leave this close up. Walk left a few steps to a single tile in the grass. Look okay, at so it. it's. I know so, what it is. It's wait. sun, sun. Wait, no, that's. So sun, sun. Would sun. it be moon, sun, moon, moon? No, um. Wait, hold on. Okay, so the. Sun, sun, top, moon. From what I saw, that one is gonna be sun, that one's gonna there be. There we go. Okay, head to the lower right corner of the woods and look for a single tile. I'm over here not cheating and still beating you. <laughs> here it is. So then, dark, light, 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 light. So the remaining tiles... Go back and look at the pillars. You see the same hexagons you saw in your spare room in your house earlier. Okay, so... Do that. Do that once. Do that. Hold on, no. Do that. That. Okay, that's that. That's that. Oh. Okay, I need to turn that. Uh, uh. Hold on. 
Oh, no. Nope. Ah, oh. uh, you had it. Yeah, hold on. So we do that. There we go. And then that should move that. That should move that. I see you're going to screw it up, but hold on. No, turn two. I know. Okay. Or are they all supposed to be pointing in a certain direction? Or they're supposed to be pointing at like the uh, like the Hitler's mustache. Hold on. You had it. This is screwing with my brain. Hold on. Ah. This is like. You're painting me. I'm also in pain. Don't worry. Go turn the left. Go turn the one on the right. Well, because then that's gonna. There we go. There we go. Good fucking lord. That hurt my brain. You had it so many times. You I know. You have okay. to do it like that. But okay. Yeah. I guess it works. So I guess I'm not gonna. Again. Another one lit up. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting stronger. Am you I gonna have so... to see Sally's peen? No. Okay. You don't look so great, Sal. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Well, he's green. Yeah, because he's dead. Fair. Okay, so we do this again. We are shadows of a sleepless dream. That's it. Oh, yeah. To the left. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't? No, not for, like, the white and black rooms. Oh. Uh. We are the dreamer of all that is. That's it. Okay. Okay. Um. So we go back upstairs, and my favorite Talk one is coming you, up. I'm not. I don't. Okay. Uh. Be right back. And so, which I won't. So be you back don't even gotta talk to him. No. Um. So. Um, watch the cutscene. Bad get blinded. Fuck me, that's bright. <laughs> Are you ready for your first day of school, Sally? I don't know. It'll be fun. You'll get to meet a bunch of a bunch of kids your age and make a lot and make lots of new friends. But what if they don't like me? That's impossible. You're the coolest guy I ever met. Me? Of course. I don't want to leave you, Mommy. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do... You don't have to anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take good care of you, and I'll be right here when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't you forget it. This looks like a Tim Burton movie. We're exactly a Tim Burton. Is this the cave by Wendigo Lake? I don't remember. Hey, it's Stone Star. Jim. Oh, another illusion created by your favorite cult. Whoa, is that a joke from Mr. Serious? No, it is me, Jim Johnson. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna go find the last one. Godspeed. Grab you of that. I think that makes yep. six. Seven. Seven? I think so. Cause we've we we've gotten them all. Do I guess you have that be some? Hello. <laughs> Whoa! Back up, dude. I'm tougher than I look, and I'm not afraid to put you down. Okay, Stevo. <laughs> hey. 
I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something that I lost. Yo, but you better not try nothing. I'm watching you. Is that a woman? Uh, I promise I won't. My name is Sal Fisher. Uh, y yes, but give her the Steve-O voice. <laughs> Tala Gray, what are you doing in these caves, Sal Fisher? Besides sneaking up on people. I was just about to ask you. I also gave question. him the freaking muscle man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever you know seen him. <laughs> you know who else sneaks up on people? My no, mom. No. I don't think I don't, I don't think I've ever seen you around Narco before. My relatives are from here, as with my mom. <laughs> I don't visit too often, but my grandfather has recently gone missing. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. I hope you find him. Thanks. My grandfather was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me a. Oops, he said that they depicted a warning of a hungry beast that hunts his, hunts in his land. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Have you seen? Have you seen a small metal pyramid around? A small pyramid, huh? I'm guessing that's the thing you lost. Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that round here. Sorry. What about some turny hexagons? You're just out here with a mask on, looking for a bunch of shapes. Huh? <laughs> it's a prosthetic. Well, I'm sorry. I couldn't help with your geometry. <laughs> okay, so we need to talk to her again. Oh, no, we don't. Notice the painting? Okay, so... So, we walk left, head to the entrance on the left, and then it's Oh boy, entering left. the entrance. I know, until you see the painting on the handprints on the wall. Those three Got hexagons it. pop up again, you know the score, turn the hexagons. Okay, so these... No. I think those oh, are no, these. There we go. Okay, so Okay, that was e that, that was, was easier. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. Okay. I don't understand what's happening. But the third one is activated. Will this bring you back? My ghost will be able to interact, but my body cannot be revived. Are you sure? These prophecies is, are vague, but they suggest that you will take physical form. I am not sure of anything. Alright, let me take care of this last pyramid. pyramid. Um, left, right, top, right, right, left, top. Left, right, left, top, right. How the heck are people supposed to know that? I don't know. Sal? <laughs> Damn it! This was supposed to resurrect you. Are you okay? I'm getting Hold on. Shut up. Um, hmm. You had hoped to resurrect Sal, but it doesn't seem to be working. Sal's ghost and is, in, is in a lot of pain. I. Uh, it hurts. There's another part to Todd's notes, but I haven't been able to make as much sense to them. I'm so sorry, Sal. I fooled you again. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than me. Wait, I think I know what it means. I know what I have to do. Ash, uh, don't! I would gladly die if it means that you will live. This is how I can make up for everything I've messed up. By the way, I hope you're, f I hope you're fucking ready, YouTube. No! Go save them, Sally Face. I hope we meet again. Ash, no! Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, guess what happened? How many? Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. How many loved ones will you kill to save the world? What will be left worth saving? Okay, so now 
we continue to walk right. Are you okay, Larry? Yeah, dude. I just uh, got something in my eye. I told you this movie is emotional. It's just so beautiful. I hope they end up together in the end. They deserve happiness after all the stuff they've been through. Yeah. I can see that's young Larry. Yeah. Gotta give him his hey. standard voice back. Hey, Larry. What's up? Do you... Do you think that anyone could ever love me like they love each other? Who wouldn't love you? Don't be stupid. You're Sally Face. You're perfect, dude. Is Larry a fag? <laughs> no, but people speculate that. Specul speculate that. Of course, Neil. Of course, Neil can move in. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask. Honestly. His current lease is nearing its end now, which is why I waited. I'd be happy to have him at our place. I'm sure Larry will too, though Larry won't probably won't move in until next year. Right. Well, thank you. Neil will be excited to hear the news, and I will be glad to have him close by again. <laughs>